I'll show you how to do great calculations using percentages. Pipes need to slope, particularly for drain, like so. And sometimes the grade of a pipe is given in percentages, like 2%. Let's work with that. 2%. And uh, I'm going to give you a calculation sample in metric and then in feet and inches. Let's get started with metric first. Say a length of a pipe is one meter, seven centimeter. That's the length of a pipe and it's got a 2% grade. So this is grade equals 2% and length, not length, that's the run of a pipe is one meter and seven centimeters. What do I mean by a run of a pipe? Here is a drawing that I'm gonna do. This horizontal distance from there to there, that's the run of a pipe. You can read the run from blueprints. This one here, the vertical offset as the drop of a pipe and the pipe itself will be here something like that with, with water running out of it okay you get the idea there we had run drop and uh, what we need to figure out is we need an actual amount for this drop. If we have a run, say that one meter seven centimeter needs to be converted to meters. One meter is 1.0 meters and at seven centimeters the centimeters have a place where you have hundredths. So they get plugged into the hundredths place value. So that's 1.07 meters. Now let's work with this two percent here. Two percent means that if I want to convert 2% into a fraction, I'm going to write 2 over 100. And uh, it means, it because it's a percentage, it, it doesn't have a unit of measurement with it. It could be 2 inches over 100 inches, or 2 meters over 100 meters, or 2 feet over 100 feet. And this top number is always the drop, and this number is always the run. Refer back to this drawing, the run and the drop. The drop is always the numerator, and the run is always down here. So it could be, seriously, it could be 2 miles over 100 miles, or 2 kilometers over 100 kilometers, as long as the unit of measurement in the numerator and in the denominator are the same, it's working fine. So that's the meaning of this grade number. Okay, that's important for the calculation. And this is how this calculation goes. I'm gonna need now an equivalent fraction and welcome to ratio and proportion. And do review the ratio and proportion titles in the playlist ratio and proportion or RNP. So 2 over 100, and we're going to need to make an equivalent fraction here. 1.07 goes there, and the drop amount will be here. 2 over 100 is the same as 4 over 200, or 1 over 50, but the point isn't to make equivalent fractions here, but in some ways, yes, I need an equivalent fraction that's something over 1.07. And to do that, we're going back again to a ratio and proportion calculation. You need to grab this number, multiply it with this number, that one with that one, and divide by 100. I'm just going to write it up, and that's going to equal your actual drop. So, what you're going to enter into the calculator is 2 times 1.07 plus 
divided by 100 and we're going to get a decimal number out of it. How do I do this? Uh, I'm going to put it here. 2 times 1.07 divided by 100 equals 0 0.0214 0 0.0214 and that's meters how do I know it's meters if that's meters that's gonna be also meters if this one is miles and that one is miles and that one is miles and so therefore that's gonna be miles as well well because these two don't necessarily need to uh, have a unit of measurement it's this one that's critical and is dictating the unit of measurement of the drop and uh, and 0 0.0214 meters is 2.14 millimeters now and that's not a whole lot of drop but if you have a length of 1 meters and 1 meter and 7 centimeters to have a 2% drop you need to put your bubble level on a pipe somewhere and over a meter the pipe should drop 2.14 millimeters okay that's that's the amount that you need to work with on the job that's something that you can check nobody is measuring percentages directly on the job nobody is measuring this angle okay it is possible to calculate it but have you ever seen anybody walking around with a protractor and a compass no so forget about it and that's how it is measured put the level on the pipe make sure it's a four foot level or a one meter long level or some such thing and uh, when it drops 2.1 millimeters over that much run then indeed it has a two percent drop let me show you another one with feet and inches say a pipe has a grade of 3.5 percent that's the grade and the run of a pipe is the run of a pipe is say 5 feet 8 inches and 3 eighths and we need to calculate from grade and run we need to calculate the drop. How do we do this? We do the same way using the concept of equivalent fractions. The 3.5% grade means that 3.5 over 100. I know that's a scary looking fraction. Don't worry about it. Just work with it. These are not entirely fractions anymore. This is ratio and proportion with independent amounts. So three and a half over hundred, and again, this could be inches, and this could be inches, or this could be feet, and that could be feet. It doesn't matter. We need an equivalent fraction. Now this run amount needs to plug in here, but you can't use this on a calculator as is. So this needs to be converted to decimal feet, and uh, or you have an option now. You either convert it to de okay, that's ugly decimal feet and your drop amount will be in decimal feet as well or you convert it to decimal inches and your drop amount will be in inches and it's way easier to get it done in decimal inches so let's do it in decimal inches 5 feet is 5 times 12 that's 60 inches plus the 8 that's 68 inches and 3 eighths is 3 divided by 8 is that's gonna be 0.375 inches so the 68.375 inches plugs in there same procedure multiply this number with this number and multiply it with that number I'm just gonna leave it on the display and add the 68 to it and then times it with the 3.5 
equals that number divided by 100 equals 2.39. I'm going to write it with this color. 2.39 inches. Now that's nice, but we need a fraction out of this because you can't read directly on your tape measure 2.39 inches. So that's going to be 2 inches and something. So minus the 2 inches equals that amount. And say I want 16th out of it, so just times it with 16. And that's, we'll go with 6 sixteenths. So that's going to be equivalent 6 sixteenths or might as well go with 3 eighths. So that means that over a length of uh, 5 foot, 8 inches and 3 eighths of an inch, the pipe, to have a 3.5 degree grade, it must drop 2 inches and uh, there, 2 and 3 eighths inches. Okay? Practice these calculations. There is more of this to come when we calculate run and then we calculate grade.